Hello friends, welcome to TechQuest channel. This is for the medical tech by your tech. In this video, we will discuss about the calibration failed, how to identify the reason for failure and how to fix it. When we run the calibration, you will notice that the blank and the calibration reagents are aspirated three times and the instrument runs minimum three times according to the programming in the instrument that can be increased if you want to increase the precision of the test method. What is precision? When the instrument repeats three times, it takes all three readings and take the mean and check how far is the reading from the mean, the deviation from each reading. If the readings are very close, that means the instrument has very good precision. That means the instrument can precisely give the readings even the same sample is repeated many times. If the instrument has very bad precision level, that means the readings are away from each other and the instrument cannot reproduce the same value. It indicates that the instrument needs to be fixed before recalibrating the analyte. When we program the analyte calibration parameters, the instrument gets programmed for coefficient variation percentage. That is, what's the percentage of variation that can allow to pass the calibration of the analyte. If the values are above the percentage, this will automatically fail the calibration and we need to fix the instrument before running the calibration again. How does the instrument check the coefficient variation percentage? The example one has three readings of 3.28, the OD value, 3.32 and 3.25. The mean for the three readings are 3.28. The SD value is calculated and it is 0 0.03. For the calculation of coefficient variation, the SD value is divided by the mean and it's calculated for the percentage. Now it's 0.91 percent is the coefficient variation percentage, which is very good. The uh, other example is having three values, 5.86, 3.26, 3.28. The SD value is 1.49 and the mean is 4.13. Coefficient variation percentage is 36 percent which is very high and most of the time more than 25 percent coefficient variation is failed. We need to fix the instrument problem before running the recalibration. Always take a printout of good calibration curve when all your QCs are in main. This will be very helpful when we have issues with calibration. Whenever there is a calibration failure or QC failure, always take out the good previous calibration curve and compare with the new one to check the difference and where the instrument or we are going wrong. The first example, we are getting different values in all three readings. That means the instrument cannot produce same value from all three runs. This is something like we are getting three different glucose results from same sample when we repeat three times of 60 milligrams per DL, 260 milligrams per DL and 185 milligrams per DL. We cannot report because we don't know which is correct. Same way we are not depend on these calibration values. So what causes this type of results giving a different value? The common and simple error will be the air bubble in the calibrator cup. When you pour it from the calibrator bottle to the cup, there may be a formation of bubble. The instrument can take the air instead of taking the calibrator for one run and gives very low value. If the air bubble is present in the reagent, line also can cause the same type of issue. So we need to remove the 
bubble from the calibrator and prime the reagent line and recalibrate. This can fix the problem sometimes. Check for any droplets of fluid on the probe tip. This can give an idea that the sample aspiration probe or the reagent probe is leaking. We need to repair the leakage so that this issue can be fixed. Sometimes the, the reagent and the samples are not mixed properly. The stir bars are stuck. We need to fix the issue before ending the calibration. Sometimes sample aspiration tips are worn. We need to replace the syringe plunger rods. The probes or mixers are scratched or damaged. This can cause improper mixing or improper dilution of the sample. So we need to fix this before recalibrating. All this can give us a different value at different runs. Sometimes the voltage fluctuation in the instrument can also cause uh, different values each run. Hardware has male function, lamps, electrodes, stirrers, ropes and selenoids can give an issue we need to service them. Sometimes if the instrument performance has deteriorated, that can give us the issue. We need to call for service, make sure the calibration is good before the service personnel leaves your lab. Not all the time, the calibration failure can give you a calibration issues, but many times the QC fails also due to the improper calibration that we need to fix it. You can check the previous good calibration curve reading with the new one. For example, in this case, we have a blank of 0 0.02, 0 0.01, 0 0.01. It looks good for the precision. But the new calibration is 1.02, 1 1.12, 1 1.08. This also looks good for precision. So the calibration will not fail. The curl calibration will be good according to the calibration run. But when you run the QC, all your QCs will fail more than three SDs. So now we need to check the previous good calibration. Now when we compare with the previous calibration, we are getting very low value that causing the QCs to fail. What are the probable costs for this type of results. Improper calibration preparation for correct calibrator because the calibrator has diluted more or the reagent preparation is bad. We need to replace a new reagent. Switched or expired reagent or calibrator. In this case, sometimes instead of keeping a one analyte calibrator, by mistake, we get other calibrator is placed in that position may cause low values since the analyte is not present in this calibrator. We need to replace and prime the lines, reagent lines and recalibrate. Sometimes the hardware functioning or lamps, electrodes, stirrers can also cause this type of results. The other example is we have a reading of blank 0 0.02, 0 0.01 and 0 0.01. It looks good for the precision. The calibration values are 0 0.04, 0 0.03 and 0 0.04. This calibration also will not fail, but all our QCs will fail because the blank and the calibrator readings are similar. What are the causes for this? There is no calibrator in the cup or wrong calibrator is placed that has zero concentration of the analyte, issues with the sample aspiration or issues with the reagent probe. That means not enough calibrator is aspirated by the sample aspiration probe or not enough reagent is added to the sample for analysis. Some of these issues, we need to call the service to fix the problem. We need to recheck 
and pour correct calibrator prime the reagent and we have to recalibrate hello friends thanks for watching please subscribe share and like thank you